you, your wife is the best. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anyways, if we can go to uh, Psalms uh, 28, verse 7. Uh, this is David. As you know, David went through a life that is full of challenges from the time he was young. And here is a nice summary of how he feels about his life and how he feels about God. Psalms 28, verse 7, David says, The Lord is my strength, my shield from every danger. That's how he looks at his God. He is the strength. He is the shield. He is the protector. He is the one he can depend on. I trust in him with all my heart. So because of that, he said, I can trust him with all my heart. You know, I put on my Facebook a wall, my status, I said, uh, how good is a promise? You know, on my, my Facebook, and I said, your promise, the promise only as good as the promiser. How, can, how much can you depend on a promise? Depends on who gave the promise. And oftentimes uh, in the world we live today, there is really no one we can depend on. Except when we see that God, who is the promiser, is the one we can depend on. And that's exactly what David said here. I have seen God and I have witnessed, I've experienced His life in me. And I trust Him. I trust in Him with all, all my heart. He helps me and my heart is filled with joy. So that's the result of his trusting and knowing who God is. His heart is filled with joy and I burst out in songs of thanksgiving. Now thanksgiving is a prayer. That's what it is. Thanksgiving is expressing our, our gratitude, our thanks to God. And, and, say, and he says that, said, when, when I'm so grateful, I just want to sing songs. There's one here in Ephesians 5. We can go to Ephesians 5 verse 19. This is amazing. I was reading it uh, this morning and I was saying, Wow, is this really what it's telling us? Ephesians 5, 19 and 20, it says, uh, For us, it says, Paul is saying, Speak to one another with psalms. You know, the way we relate to each other as brothers and sisters, Paul is saying, Speak to one another with psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. I was saying, whoa, you know, this is like a movie that we watch and it's a musical movie, you know, and when people in a musical movie, the way they talk, good morning, Jason, you know, when they, whatever they do, they, they say it in songs, oh, thank you, so, I'm not, even if you're out of tune, you sing, whatever, right, but that's what it's saying here, you speak to, uh, to one another with psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, almost like David saying that when our hearts are really filled with trust and we truly understand and have this joy, God is saying that it's like a, a musical. The church life, our relationship together is like a musical. That's how beautiful it is. And then he says here, sing and, and make music in your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I mean, the way God looks at thanksgiving, the way God looks at how we look at each other and our gratitude, it's like singing songs. It's like a musical. How, how beautiful that is. You know, it's nice if we can do the same in church, right? If we, like after this church, we read one another in songs, right? <laughs> but probably it's kind of difficult when some of us cannot sing, but you know. <laughs> but that's exactly what it's saying here, that somehow there is this, there's something about giving thanks. There's also power in that. David understood that the thanksgiving, really, you know what we talk about? Thanksgiving, it's not just thanksgiving, but it's thanks living. It, it reflects the kind of life we have. When, when we are thanksgiving, when we live thanks, it, it reflects a humble heart, really. When a person is grateful, that, that's coming from a humble heart. It is rooted from a humble gratitude. And David was genuinely grateful, that's David, for him, for David. God is the only solution, there, no one else. 
God is the only one we can trust. God is the only trust and the only one we can go to. He is our escape from danger. That's, that's from Him. Only Him. He trusted God to, to deliver Him. That's something that David was so grateful for. You know, thanksgiving, that's what it was for him. So, no matter what our circumstances are, we, we thank God. We thank God because just like David, we know that we can depend on Him. Whatever situation you are in right now or whoever you are, the message is we can trust God. He's the one and we can give Him all the thanks. In these times of trouble, and perhaps it might get worse, it might get worse, we don't exactly know. But we can trust in Him. James 1.17 says, Every good and perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights. Every good. You know, God is love. And I, you know, I was thinking about this. Every good, every perfect gift is from above. The good things that were given to you is of God. The good things, everything. It's not, you know, like, okay, it's somebody else. But God is the author. God is the source of everything good. Because we all we receive good things. You know, we heard all these little kids who are saying, I'm thankful for the chicken. I'm thankful for whatever pizza. Thankful for, I counted for Pastor Mike, 12 times, plumbing system. <laughs> but even that, even that, Pastor Mike, that, because that is good. The plumbing system comes from the Father. <laughs> That's why I say every good, perfect gift is from above. It comes down from the Father of light. So, thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is good. Because thanksgiving honors God. Thanksgiving is a, is a praise for Him. It is biblical. It's here. It's, it's a component. It's, it's a part of our lives. Thanksgiving. And it's not just one day of the year. That's why I suggested last year in the sermon, let's call it thanks living. It's our way of life. Giving God thanks in whatever, whatever we do. Because it honors our great God who deserves all the awe and the respect. Amen? Amen. So let's pray to God and give Him thanks because that's what it's about. And pray to God, Lord, we thank You. And we give you thanks, Lord, for everything, Lord, that you have given us. Even sometimes, as mentioned a while ago with Shara, even uncertainty, Lord God. Even sometimes trials and challenges. Because they do teach us lessons. You're always there, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings. But most importantly, Lord, thank you for who you are. And, in, and it is when we understand and can see who really you are, Lord, that's our eyes when they begin to open and see, wow, Lord, we have hope, we have assurance. We have a God who really cares, who really understands. We don't have to fear what the future holds. We don't have to fear our lack, our insufficiency. We don't have to fear when we are sick. We don't have to fear where we're in danger because you said, be not afraid. I'm your protector. I'm your provider. I'm your comforter. You are all that we need, Lord God. So thank you. Thank you for who you are and thank you for what you continue to do. Thank you for your being and your acting because that's all you. And it's all about love, Lord, that you give to us. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit for working in each and every one of us. And thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving your life for each and every one here. No exception, all of us here, you gave your life for us. Thank you, Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, for this church. Thank you, Lord, for the love that you've given us and the love that we can share to each other. And all this we ask and pray in Jesus' holy name.